Now remember I said that in the first place, the, the array that's returned from greater numbers, this greater numbers to be returned, okay, greater numbers to be returned, we initialize it to the size of the integer array. So if the integer array that we are passing into this greater numbers here, over here, this integer array has a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? And so we initialized this array, uh, greater numbers to return array to whatever array that was passed into greater numbers when it was called whatever array that was passed into greater number when it was called and that array happens to be integer array which has a length of eight and so greater numbers to return will also have a length of eight and so this greater numbers the, the array that returned from this method call is going to have an, a length of eight which means this greater numbers returned array is also going to have a length of eight right and so that means that we are printing out basically eight element but within those eight, eight elements We'll have all the numbers uh, greater than 5, right? Which is 6, 7, and 8. There's only 3. So we're going to see 6, 7, and 8. But basically, this array has 8 elements. And the other elements are basically going to be 0. Because we, we first of all, initialized this greater number to return. The array that was returned, we initialized it to the length of this, right? Which, was, which is 8. The length of the array that we pass into greater numbers, which is 8. And so it, when we do that, it's everything, every, initially, before we start adding numbers, even to the uh, greater numbers to return array, everything becomes zero. And then once we add numbers, once we start adding numbers, those zeros are replaced. But we, because there are, only, there, are only, there are only three numbers greater than five, initially we will have, let's just quickly do, the, do that with a comment. Initially we will have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. Sorry. I'm supposed to put commas here, but. <laughs> okay, so we'll have something like this. Right. When we, when we declare the, var uh, when we, sorry, when we initialize it with the length of the integer array, we'll have something like this. But one, once we start adding numbers to it, for example, as based on this example, it's going to store six, seven, and eight, and then the rest will remain zeros. So that's basically what is going to happen. First of all, when we set it to the size of the array that was passed here, they were all zeros. But once we started adding numbers, they were, th those zeros were replaced, and the rest will remain, will remain zeros. That's what's going to happen. But we'll fix that in a second. So let's compile this. Let's just jet, first of all, make sure to see if it's. Um, you know, have any errors or anything, and so in the job in the Java program uh, folder, programming challenges chapter seven. I'm going to create another folder. I'm going to call this. What's this one called? Larger than n. Oops. And save it. Okay, so it compiled without any errors. All right, so let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so that's what I was talking about. It's returning six, seven, eight, and then the rest is zeros. So basically, it's going to return all the numbers greater than this number here. But then, you know, if those numbers are less than the length of the array, then it will display the numbers, and then the, all the slots will be zeros. So if I try to, let's say, tell me, tell, so basically, if I say, if I set a number to two, that means it's going to display all the numbers greater than two in this array, which is basically three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six numbers. The length of that array, the greater numbers return array is 8, right? So we'll have 6 slots and then 2 zeros. Okay? Okay. Um, so let's try other ones. Let's see if I have 7, right? Then the only number greater than 7 in this array is 8. So it's going to have 8, and then all the other 7 slots are going to be 8 zeros, right? We'll fix that in a second, but let's just see how this looks like. So 8 and then zeros. So since we know that, since we know that, you know, this this array is it's either going to have the numbers greater than um, number here and zeros, let's only display the numbers and not the zeros. And so before we print out the statement, let's have an if statement or after um, before it, an if statement before it. Okay, and say that if If, the, if this number that we are trying to print here, if this number we are trying to print, if this greater number is returned in particular index we are trying to print, 
if that number we're trying to print is not equal to is not equal to the exclamation sign means not if it's not equal to zero if it's not equal to zero then print it out that's all only print it out if it's not equal to zero so if it's equal to zero then there's nothing there's no don't do anything we have, we have an if statement that says and that says if it's not equal to zero then print it out okay this state this state uh, print statement is only going to run if the number is not equal to zero the number we are trying to go through or the number we are we are on in this greater numbers return array is not equal to zero so let's try this compile this hit run we have just eight if i type in two it's now going to display all the numbers greater than two in this array which is three four five six seven and eight compile this run three four five six seven and eight if you want to display it horizontally now we know that a print ln statement always ends with a new line meaning it prints a number and then it moves the position it prints a number and it moves the position from the end of the line to the beginning of the line and anything that comes after that you know basically if the system that the print ln statement is, is, is run again in anything that's about to be printed will be printed on this line and then the, because it's a print ln it prints print ln prints the number and moves the position to the next line and waits for another statement to run and then if it runs again because it's a loop right so if it runs again the next number is going to be split on the next line the print ln statement will always move the position from the end of the line to the next line and wait but if we use just print instead of print ln print will just print the number and then keep the position there and wait for the, uh, another statement to run and if the system that all the print, uh, print statements runs again that number is going to continue and then it's going to move the position not to the next line but to the end of the line and wait so by using print we can print it horizontally but once you print a number concatenate it with a space basically print a number and a space a space okay so print the number and a space each time print the number and a space each time so compile this run and i was displaying the numbers horizontally so and so now i can say we can even let the user type in or enter this number but i can say okay give me all the numbers greater than six in this array we know it's seven and eight all right so compile and run seven and eight give me all the numbers greater than three in this array we know that it's four five six seven eight four five six seven eight give me all the numbers greater than one in this array oops one in this array we know it's two three four five six seven eight okay give me all the numbers greater than negative five in this array that's basically all these numbers right so compile we should see all the numbers same thing give me all the numbers greater than zero in this array all the numbers okay give me all the numbers greater than eight in this array right there's none compile this and show you see none when we run this program see nothing happened you can write the program in such a way that if there's none, it should say that, oh, there is no number greater than 8. You can write the program in such a way that it does that. Um, you can write the program to keep count of how many numbers are greater. You, you know, you can basically do a bunch of stuff with it. But let's just try f uh, 6, um, 3. All the numbers greater than 3 is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. Okay. All right, so so this this is a way to do 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 this program, right? There are other there are other ways, in, you know, in programming always. And so I, you know, I hope this is clear. All right, so if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Um, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next program. All right then, bye bye.